You know the way Fleetwood Mac said, thunder only happens when it's raining? I think they were onto something. I've been contemplating all my time. My thoughts make me tired, just run through my mind. Wonder if there's peace I can find. It is Saturday and we're going for a vlog weekend. Oh, I had such great plans for this weekend. Such great plans. But as you can see, the weather said absolutely not. Can you see that lightning? Oh my God. It has been thunder and lightning for the last week, maybe. Do you have this conceptual idea that it's gonna be very little rain, it's gonna be fine, sun's out, hun's out, whatever. But I will say that the rain here is a million times more aggressive than in Ireland because it just comes out of nowhere. You don't expect it. But back to my original point, a lot of the plans that I had planned to do, I can't do today. So I've been suffering from migraines a lot this week. I don't know whether it's because of the weather, stress with grad prep or whatever it is, but I've been really stressed and under pressure. So I was planning to do lots of lovely nice things. Not gonna get to do it today, that's fine, whatever. And there is talk tomorrow about going to Treviso. So hopefully I'll be okay. But then we also had another issue. Yesterday I didn't have a dog sitter. So he was all day alone in the house. And I thought he would have been fine because we brought him for a walk in the morning. He did his peas, his poos, whatever. Came back, it, the house was an absolute shamble. I don't know, he must have obviously panicked. Like he's three years old, he's never wetted the house. He's never pooed in the house ever. Even as a puppy, he never did. The place was destroyed, so obviously I was cleaning a lot. So it's just, I worry now about leaving him alone. A mother's love knows no bounds. A single mom who loves to never I'm kind of on like a, I need to chill. I need to relax today. So today is a reading day, a big clean day. I have lots to clean. I actually have to do my bed sheets. I have to try and find some summer clothes because it's gonna be 27 degrees tomorrow. I have no summer clothes. I have an order coming from T. Did you hear that? Oh my God. I have an order coming from Timu. I, okay, look, I get it. Timu's not good. Sheen's not good. I know I shouldn't do it, but I just, money is so tight right now. <laughs> so I have an order coming there. I don't know when it's coming, but they're bringing a lot of my shorts and my bodysuits. So I don't really have anything to wear. So I need to try and like pull out stuff in my wardrobe and see what is there that I can wear. And yeah, coffee, read my book. I was waiting in the undertow. Set adrift with featherweight light like bows Unaware of where my heart would flow I was waiting in the undertow Can't touch the bottom Sit into a tumble Waves that shake me out out of my skin. So we got that lamp from a friend. I bought it off one of the girls I work with in school and I personally love it, but I don't know where to put it. And this is the problem with me. This is why I'm glad I have the smaller bedroom in this house because if I had the bigger bedroom, I would just fill it with things. I've for so long, I've tried to be a minimalist. I've tried to convince myself I'm a minimalist. I'm not a minimalist, I'm a maximalist, and I'm okay with that. Nothing so easy. Losing my direction. My bearings have me south of home. I've been wrong before. I was waiting in the undertow. Anyway, I can guess that that, was, that lighting will be okay. Like it's a really nice soft light there. I just love bamboo lights, but it also is illuminating all the dirt that's in this house that I need to clean it. I need to clean it really well today. I updated my bookshelf as well. Here's the TikTok. Unaware of where my heart would flow, I was waiting in the undertow. I 
covered up with copyright music, obviously, but if you know it's the song I Hate It Here by Taylor Swift, so it's like, I hate it here, so I will go see the garden in my mind. I don't know why, I just got the urge at six o'clock yesterday morning. I was like, that's it, pull everything out, clean it, put it back. So yeah, that's where I'm at these days. Life is really busy at the minute because we're doing grad prep for the year fives. Now, I find that the graduation stuff for primary school kids, it's a lot more fun than, than the secondary school kids. Although I love doing it with secondary school children as well because they kind of, you have more room to do bigger moves with them and they kind of focus on it a little bit more. But I will say that the year fives that I have are amazing. I actually will cry when they graduate because I'm like, I love these kids so much. They're so lovely. But anyway, that's what I've been doing. I've been hitting a wall with a particular group's dance because they picked whatever it takes by Imagine Dragons and it's quite slow down. and like I said I'm not a dancer so I'm trying to think how do I make this dance interesting, fun, that it's not just like very lyrical. Because I've been so busy with grad this week it hasn't hit me, I haven't had a lot of time to think about it so I'm feeling okay about summer, it'll be fine. I really want to do a look back on my journey to Italy because it was around this time last year I started putting the, the work in motion, like I started getting the Cody Chiffy Scale, I started planning and stuff, so I would love to react to my series and kind of speak a little bit more in hindsight now because I feel at the time I was talking and I was like, oh, it's all great now in the moment, but then hindsight, I'm like, oh my God, there's some things I'll never do again. <laughs> story ha 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 I'm I'm laughing I'm not crying I'm laughing I'm not crying I'm laughing we were go I was going for a run I was going to go for one Claudia has gone to the shop so I was like okay I'll go leave Albert for a few minutes today's plan is only a short little recovery run so I'll go I'll be fine I'll bring Albert to the toilet leave him alone after his ordeal yesterday he needs to get back into being alone for short spurts of time we go outside there is a dead magpie outside the house you know you know if you've been watching this channel for a while you know how superstitious I am I'm not just a little issues I'm a super superstitious person when it comes to magpies and one magpie alive is bad enough for me to send me into a spiral for a day a dead magpie it's an omen. So instead, I'm gonna wait for Clodagh to come back because I'm not leaving Albert alone under the circumstances now. Things are different now. Things have changed utterly. So I'm gonna give you a book haul. You ready? I have decided that after the last Sarah J Maas book, House of Flame and Shadow, like, can you look at these books, please? And just, like, look how beautiful they are. And I'm really proud of myself as well because this is my only Sarah J Maas series where I have a consistent layout of the books because in Akatar I have Court of Mist and Fury is a hardback, the rest are softback. And in Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight is the only hardback and the rest are all softbacks. So for once, I actually have 
all of them as hardbacks whether you like the story or not they are the most satisfying books to look at I bought House of Flame and Shadow yesterday uh, being Friday and then I decided what better way to cure my money worries than spend more money make it make sense for me Anyway, I promised myself after a House of Flame and Shadow that I was going to change route for just for a little bit, try and read a different genre, step away from fantasy and spicy. I'm getting away from fairies for a little bit. First one I bought, obviously, is this beautiful cover of Pride and Prejudice. I've never read Pride and Prejudice, but I'm a big 2005 film girly. To end my agony. I don't understand. I love you. I've already been talking about this. Dead Poet Society is going to be a real quick read. To be honest, I'm kind of thinking when I finish House of Sky and Breath, will I just go straight to Dead Poet Society? Because it's only 150 pages. So like, will I get it done? The Dead Poet Society is about a group of boys who are in the Welton Academy and they are inspired by their new English professor, John Keaton, who wants them to live extraordinary lives. Poetry. Beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. The final book I bought was not supposed to be this one. I wasn't supposed to buy this one, but I'm there looking through the books and all of a sudden I see, if you don't speak Irish, you won't know what I'm talking about, but all of a sudden I see the fathers in Irish and I'm like, what's a father doing in a, a father would be the equivalent of our accent or a goo or Le Grave, uh, whatever you want to call it, but the name Colm Tobin, or Tobin, if you pronounce it in the Irish. And I was like, what in God's name is Colm Tobin doing in an Italian bookshop? I obviously know he's a world famous writer, but I was like, oh my God, what's an Irish author doing in Italy? Brooklyn. And I've watched a lot of Brooklyn clips on TikTok, especially last this time last year when I was getting ready to leave for Italy. I was watching a lot of the... The, you know the way on TikTok you can see the clips of the film. I know I shouldn't watch them because it copyrights the film, but like I don't care. So I think I'm going to read this one and especially when everyone's leaving for summer, I think it'll be quite, um, no, I'm not going to say sad, but it'll be nostalgic to read this. So the, oh, the print is so small though. Ah, but no, it'll be fine. And I know how it ends as well. So I can just kind of sit and relax and enjoy it. But if you don't know what Brooklyn is about, a lot of people, the minute I say Brooklyn for some people, they're automatically thinking of their leaving cert, which is the big exam in Ireland. And I know this is on the leaving cert in Ireland, so I'm sorry if I'm bringing you any trauma by uh, reading this book. But it's pretty much about this girl named Ailish Lacey. And she, like so many young Irish girls, are emigrating to New York. She meets an Italian-American man. I'm not Irish. You don't sound Irish. Falls in love with him, gets married on the sly, then she has to go back to Ireland and her mother, family and another outside influence that are trying to keep her in Ireland. And she has to kind of battle between Ireland or going back to New York again. So I'm looking forward to reading different genres. That was a big long winded thing. You're probably like, get me away from this woman. Stop, get her to stop talking. But no, I will never stop talking. Welcome to the starting line of the 5K training plan. I'm Coach Bennett, the Nike Running Global Head Coach, and I'm here to give you an overview of the week ahead. We've got two recovery runs, two speed runs, and a long run. That's five runs, but you're the head coach here, so you get to decide how many runs you do each week. We recommend at least three, but if time and fitness allow for more... It's tough. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely did something to my shin. Oh well. Okay. Maybe the, the magpie was an omen. Maybe it was an omen for my shins, because my shins are in pain now. Anyway, I'm gonna spend the rest of my evening reading, relaxing, trying to get rid of this headache, because it's just not going. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending a mundane day with me. Keep your head in the clouds, but always land on your feet. Good night. Oh.